Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. Now, Reality Steve just tweeted that he may have some information regarding who wins this season. He's going to announce that tomorrow. We're going to speculate in the meantime. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at dneals, and hit the like button an odd number of time if you may. We appreciate all of you guys out there. So we're going to talk about this. We're going to dis discuss spoilers for week seven. Tonight's episode, live stream, 7 p.m. East Coast, 10 p.m. East Coast. That's before and after tonight's episode. Let's get into it, folks. We're going to, uh, and again, if you don't want information on the spoilers, who goes home tonight on week seven, they go to Vienna, Austria. If you don't want to know any of that information, just politely bow out. You can leave a comment. You can do whatever you want, but the spoilers are allowed in this comment section. All right, so before we get into that, yesterday I made a video on Madison Pruitt being called out by Shein, which is a fast fashion uh, uh, fashion company based in China that has some uh, subpar humanitarian issues going on, slave labor, uh, the way they're treating their environment, things like that. So we, so she was called out on a TikTok that I didn't make, and we reported on that. And then afterwards, we lost subscribers. Look at that. Several subscribers lost. And, you know, other people subscribed. When that happens, we say you got to crack an egg to make an Omelet, which of course means sometimes you got to ruffle some feathers to be true to your cause, to be authentic, this and that. I've had people comment, Dave, but what about Amazon? You're going to rail on Walmart? What about a lot of what about isms? And look, I think we have a pretty good track record over time of discussing these complicated issues and saying, hey, not to say I haven't bought fast fashion, but someone who's, you know, talking about wanting to do good in the world, you know, when they get called out for doing the opposite, it's not about shaming them so much as about shining light on dark places and understanding that we can all try better. Anyway, so if you want to make up for those two, lost subscribers make sure to hit the subscribe button because that's what we're going to keep doing we're going to keep losing a couple and gaining a couple and that's going how it's going to work and maybe you want to be like some of those other bachelor accounts that are afraid to discuss uh, difficult conversations and that's fine too but if you subscribe to my channel because you were okay about me discussing you know Colton Underwood's domestic uh, issues but are not okay with me discussing religion maybe that's on you if you're okay talking politics but not talking this or talking that but not talking something else just understand we're going to have these conversations it's not about being right or wrong it's about discussing right all right so let's get into it reality steve posted while it's certainly nothing historic tomorrow in my column i will be i will share the things i do feel confident in regarding the bachelor finale based on recent conversations i've had and um and then he says, want to make this perfectly clear, since I already see the reaction, what I post tomorrow is what I feel most confident in based on all the things I've heard. But that doesn't mean it'll answer every question. It won't. You will still have questions I don't have answers to. But since I haven't posted anything about the finale that I'd heard, I figured we're getting closer, so it's time. It's time, boys! And I heard some stuff over the weekend that I think will help a little, but will not have the full picture. But do not expect a full breakdown. It won't be that. I kind of feel like uh, Steve in this case is trying is like responding to the people that are going to be like, oh, you don't even know or you don't have all the info. It's like, yeah, he's got a puzzle that he's working on. And the more he puts the clues together, he goes, oh, this may be it. Now, we know Pilot Pete, Pilot Pete said, hey, look, I don't know anything about it. But my guess is he doesn't end up with anybody. So that can happen as well. We always kind of forget about that, that, hey, maybe the one he really wanted was like, you bang so and so in the yurt? No, I'm not going to be with. Oh, you you gave a hand job in an airstream? No, I'm not going to do. It. Oh, you did an over the pan. You know what? In a uh, you know uh, a biodome? No, I'm not going to do. It. What's this? You went into your mother's basement during hometowns and gave a uh, you know a smoking uh, a smoking cigar? I don't. What's a smoking cigar? It's when the Russian version of Steve Seagal. You know, I'm kidding. It involves a bowl cut and a ponytail. Anyway, folks, we're making this up on the fly. It's called improv. Okay, figuring it out. So. Here's his spoilers for how tonight ends. And again, we don't know. You can comment. You can leave any speculation you have. Tomorrow, if you do follow Reality Steve and you do want this content, uh, keep an eye out for my re my reaction to that. Of course, he's creating the content. I'm going to react to it, and then you can call and discuss what you think about it all. Uh, but a Reality Steve transitioning to the real game, which, by the way, pat on my back. I was like, I saw that he was posting these Instagram stories, and I was like, you got to put them on the reels. The reels is where you get all the love, and, and certainly, look at that. His reels are getting... 82,000 and 140,000, so nearly a quarter million views today on his spoilers for tonight's episode, which I'm about to share. Um, you know what? I'm going to give you a chance. You might be watching this. I'm going to give you a chance to exit out, and I'm going to play one voicemail here. So here's a voicemail uh, from a fan discussing what they think might happen to Clayton tonight, and then after that, I will share Reality Steve's uh, spoilers. Hey, Dave. This is Nicole calling from 
Arizona. Hi, Nicole. Um, I just wanted to make a point that, um, like, I, I've been listening to some other interviews with Clayton, and it does seem like he's pretty happy. So, and he kind of alludes that, like, when they ask, are you happy? And he's like, I am. And I don't know, it just, it, from a lot of the interviews I've seen, it seems like he is with someone right now. And I think with the whole sleeping with multiple people, um, I think I think he'll be able to, or whoever he picks is going to be able to look past it. Because, I mean, I hate to say you know what you sign up for, but I think they have to go into it knowing that that is a possibility that that could happen. Um, So I just feel like, and I do feel like Rachel's lame. Like I know, typically the other thing is though, people who get that shopping date, it's been shown that they typically are one of the final people, or they do win. Mm. But I still think it's going to be Rachel. I I don't know, just the way that they act together. But I'm um, just curious what everyone thinks with whoever gets a shopping date. I know they tend to be winners a lot of times. Like you saw with Rachel with Kirk Connell, she got that shopping date. But I'm um, just curious what other people think. So I uh, love you. Keep up the great work. Bye. Thank you so much, Nicole in Arizona. Do I have that right? Was it Nicole in Arizona? Yes, thank you so much for that call. And we'll discuss um, all these hypotheticals during the live stream. No spoiler discussion during the live stream. Now, referring to the fact that you think Rachel may be a finalist because she did uh, this shopping scene, which we're going to see tonight. Here's a quick clip. We're shopping for you today. <laughs> I don't think she knows what she's doing. All right, there it is. Gosh, I don't even know if we can play that cheek to cheek music. I, I might have just. Uh, well, anyway, if you didn't see what I just played, it's because um, sometimes they make you cut the music out. But either way, that's Rachel on the date. And now let's go to Reality Steve and share his two spoilers. I'm just going to let them air. Here's what he has to say. Again, these are spoilers. What's up, Bachelor Nation? Got your rose ceremony number seven spoilers for you here in Vienna, Austria. As we know, when we start off the episode, we still got to finish up what happened in Croatia, and that's when Mara and Eliza are the two that are eliminated at the rose ceremony. So seven women are headed to Vienna, Austria. The lucky seven. In terms of the one-on-one dates, Susie gets one of the one-on-ones. She gets the pretty woman date, you know, with the dress and the jewelry. We've seen it all in the promo. She's got the long red dress. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. All right, that's my apologies. We said that about Rachel. Susie's the one with the fashionable date did i make that mistake or did nicole i think that was my mistake you guys have probably already corrected me in the comment section or she shows up so yeah Susie gets the pretty woman date pretty woman then one of the other one-on-one dates goes to serene russell they're in a horse carriage ride and they go to hofsburg palace at the time this date occurred which was october 30th of 2021 actually had pictures of it that day wow like this one and this one look over your shoulder serene it's me. It's Reality Steve. I'm here in Hofsburg Palace. You've made it. Kidding. No, I'm not. Stick around for part two. Ah, I like these. Some people say to go back to the slides. I like these. All right, back for part two of your rose ceremony. Number seven spoilers from Vienna, Austria. Let's get going. So here's the deal. Genevieve definitely goes home in Austria because we know she doesn't get a hometown date. It either happens before any date takes place or it happens and she does appear on the group date. I'm not exactly sure, but she definitely is eliminated before any rose ceremony takes place. Nice Ted Lasso shirt, by Group the way. date is a couple's therapy session that Rachel, Gabby, and Sarah are definitely on. Like I said, Genevieve might be on it. She might not. Either way, um, she's eliminated in this episode. But those three are definitely on this d- group date. One thing we know that happens before the hometown dates is when you get a one-on-one, you either get a rose or you go home. I don't know if they do that this episode because there is a rose ceremony where eliminations happen. So keep an eye out for that. But we do have a rose ceremony this episode, and that's coming up next. At the rose ceremony, Sarah and Teddy are eliminated. Sorry, ladies. Huh. And that leaves the final four of Susie, Rachel, Serene, and Gabby. We all know what happens after that. We'll talk to you soon. We'll talk to you next week. See you later. All right. So we get to the final four. That's what's going to be going on tonight. Uh, and may, m- might spill into a future episode. But these are the spoilers. This is what you guys asked for. So those are the spoilers. You can talk about them in this comment section, but not others. Of course, you have to know that it's a spoiled comment section. Otherwise, you have to get kicked out. We kick you out if you uh, come into a comment section where we're not discussing spoilers. All right, folks, let me know what you think. We'll see you 7 p.m. East Coast, 4 p.m. West Coast, 10 p.m. East Coast, 7 p.m. West Coast for tonight's Before and After live stream, Week 7, Bachelor, Clayton. We'll see you then. Bye, guys.